Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, how's everybody doing today? Hope everyone is doing well. It is uh, just about 20 after 12 uh, in the afternoon here, Tuesday afternoon. <clears throat> and it is uh, two for Tuesday. It's two for Tuesday. And this open tag was started by Tom from Knife Delights. So thank you, Tom, for this open tag. We appreciate it, buddy. I know I appreciate it. And uh, I got two pieces here to take a look at. And um, they are the number 43 pattern, GECs. They are the Oregon Trappers. They are the Oregon Trappers. One is in Frontier Bone, and the other one is in Red Rust Jig Bone. Red Rust Jig Bone. Having trouble saying that. A little bit of a tongue twister. But, um, and if I have time, I want to go back and visit this little guy right here. Because this is what's been in my pocket for about two weeks. Probably longer than two weeks. Um, this has been in my pocket since Thrifty Kniffy done his video on this piece. This is the... Um, this is the uh, Evolution 11. This is the Evolution 11. And um, this is just a fantastic EDC knife. And I will go through this um, a little bit uh, with you guys if I have time uh, after this. Or I'll make time. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Um, but let's get started on this. These are the Oregon Trappers in my collection, GECs. The first one is the Rud Red Rust Jig Bone. And we'll take you a look around this one. That jigging is um, pretty unique. It's pretty cool looking. That jigging is pretty cool. I like it. I like the jigging uh, on this one. Titty Ute Form. Nothing special on these. They're both titty -oot. Um, Take you a look around it. Look at that jigging on that bone. Take you a look around it. We'll go ahead and pop this blade open. Nice authoritative half stop. Pops right open. Really, really nice snap. And there it is, in all its glory. Um, really nice clip blade. Real, real nice clip blade. You can see how it comes up right here, that hump in the middle there. Then it just shoots down. But um, <clears throat> this is one of the most beautiful uh, clip blades in my collection. Love this clip blade. Love, the, love this clip blade a lot. Brass liners through it in there. Um, just really uh, well put together. Well put together piece here. Got the butt end of it there. Real tight. Nice looking piece. Um, glad to have it in the collection. I almost didn't get these. Um, almost didn't have the opportunity to get them, um, almost slipped underneath my, uh, underneath my hand, but at the last minute I put the deal together and wind up getting it. And I feel very fortunate. I feel very fortunate about that. But you got, um, full grip in the hand. Full uh, four finger grip, and it's a big knife. Let's not get away from the issue. Um, the knife is, the knife is a full size knife. It's a big piece. Um, it's a big trapper. It is a big trapper, and uh, I like it. I like it quite a bit. You got that brass lanyard tube here. Nickel silver uh, bolster. Nickel silver inlay, brass pins. 
Just a really, really well put together piece. Really well put together piece. GEC really did a good, good job with these here. They did a fantastic job with these. Really, really, really um, well put together. I've seen these going for um, on eBay for buy it now for eight hundred to a thousand dollars for these here. This one and the Frontier Bone one down here. But let's put this one down for a minute and take a look at the other one. We'll take a look at uh, this piece here. Just beautiful bone. Real even. The bone is uh, even. I like that. I don't like uneven bone. I know bone's got to be that way. But I like it. I prefer it to be even on both sides. I just don't like it uneven. I got a couple pieces in there that are bone. And one side is very, very fat. And the other side is very skinny. I don't like that. I just don't like that. It doesn't feel good in the hand. Nothing about it do I like about that. But this is right down the middle. Uh, the blade centering is right down the middle. Of course it's going to be. It's a GEC. Um, just a really, like I said, really pull is real nice on it. About a six. Really, really beautiful. I could sit there and look at that clip blade all day. I can look at that clip blade all day. That's a beautiful clip blade. Look at them grind lines going through it. Just a beautiful, just a beautiful specimen here. Same thing as this one down here, except different covers. They're both the same model, just different covers. Take a look at them side by side. We'll put them side by side for you. Just two beautiful pieces. I really, really appreciate uh, what GEC does as a company. What they do, what they produce. Um, you know, uh, I've been into these GEC knives for quite a few years. You know, over probably over 10 years, over 10 years, I've been collecting these. And um, I just have a, uh, you know, I could just appreciate, I can appreciate what they do. Because, um, no, they're not cheap. These are not cheap pieces of cutlery. But um, are they worth it? Are they worth it? Well, yeah, I'd say, yeah, they are worth it. Sure. Sure, I'd say, yes, they are. Um, to each their own, you know, everybody has their own, everybody has their own, uh, opinion on stuff. And to me, my opinion is, you know, I'm a GEC guy. You know what I mean? I just appreciate GEC cutlery. I love them, you know, but that's here and there. That's for another day. Snap. Look at that, uh, action on that real crisp. I mean, the action, once you feel action on some of these, like that that snap, just look at this going into the half. I mean, it teeters going into the half. And then going into the full. Nice, nice lockup, nice snap. Action is just fantastic. Fantastic. Action is fantastic. That's about it, really, guys. There's not much more to be said about them. I just wanted to give you guys a look at these uh, two for Tuesday. Give you guys another look at them side by side. They're just awesome pieces of cutlery. Throw these in a slip and you're off and running. A nice, real nice, soft, supple, broken in slip. You know? Like a real nice, broken in one. And you just... Put this right in there, drop this right in, boom, stick it right in your pocket, and you're gone. It's a nice feeling having one of these in your pocket, walking around with one of these in your slip, 
in a slip in your pocket. It's a super nice feeling when you got one of these in your pocket. You know it's riding in your pocket. Oh, well. Anyway, um, I'll let you guys get down the road. I won't keep you as much longer. Um, sorry to take up this much of your time. This one, I'll do another review on it. Um, get, uh, this is the Evolution 11. I highly recommend picking this up, guys. It's a $23 knife, and you can't go wrong with this knife. After this video, this is going right back in my pocket again. Right back in my pocket. Anyway, uh, you guys be good, be well, be safe. And um, I'll catch you guys on the next one. And uh, you just be careful out there. Take care.